In this video, we will be learning how to solve multi-step equations. In this example, we have 14 and 2 tenths equals 2 times the quantity of a negative 5 and 8 tenths plus n. Now there's, I see some distributive property. I also see the variable on the right side instead of normally on the left side. But you guys, let's tackle each step one step at a time and let's make this happen. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna get rid of these parentheses. And by that, we are going to distribute this two to each term inside the parentheses. So next we have 14 and 2 tenths, two times a negative five and eight tenths is a negative 11 and six tenths, and then two times n, is 2n. Now our next step is we see that the variable is not isolated. We have a 2 attached to it by multiplication, but we also have that negative 11 and 6 tenths attached by addition. So, or excuse me, by a negative number. So how to get rid of that negative and cancel it out? I'm going to add 11 and 6 tenths to both sides of the equation. So I see that this becomes zero. I'm gonna keep my equal signs in line with each other. I'm gonna bring my two in down. And then I have 14 and 2 tenths plus 11 and 6 tenths, which gives me 25 and 8 tenths. Now I see that the 2 is attached to the n by multiplication, so I'm going to divide it by 2. And we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by 2 to get this variable by itself. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we'll have 1n. And then 25 and 8 tenths is going to be, we could do this off to the side, 25.8 divided by two, two goes into two one time, two goes into five two times, so that's gonna give me 24. Then I'm gonna bring my eight down. I didn't bring this two down because it was, I could do that mental math. I don't know, I learned that in elementary school, so I apologize, it's a little, little trick that I have. Bring up my decimal, 2 goes into 1.8 nine times. And so 2 times 9 is 1.8 or 18. That gives me 0. So 25 and 8 tenths divided by 2 is 12 and 9 tenths. We can go ahead and switch this around into standard form if you'd like. Let's go ahead and check this, just to double check. We had a lot of math going on here, and so it's super important that we check our work, and we start by rewriting the problem, and wherever we see a variable, we are going to replace that variable with a parenthesis so we can plug in 12 and 9 tenths. Here's where we're gonna plug, and then I have the second parenthesis on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in 12 and 9 tenths. And let's go ahead and simplify. So we have 14 and 2 tenths. We have 2 times the quantity of what is going on inside here. So we look at we have 12 and 9 tenths minus 5 or a negative 5 and 8 tenths. I have a 1, 12 minus 5 is a 7.1. So this is going to be a positive 7.1. So 14.2 is equal to 2 times 7.1. That's 14.2. So here we go. We are able to check our work. Make sure in your problems that you're always checking your work. You want to verify, like if you're taking a test, you're, by checking your work, you're pretty much going to know that you got that problem correct. 
if you have both of these numbers equal to each other. The left side is equal to the right side. So hang in there, guys. Remember on multi-step problems, you need to take it one step at a time. Don't hesitate to do a little scratch paper or, or use a calculator to help you out with those difficult decimals and negatives. Mm -hmm.